A lot of cyber criminals use social engineering. There's phishing, there are other forms of malware that organized groups today are using to harvest information, personal information, and using them for crime. Most of the cyber security related crimes are targeted, uh, targeted at banks and other financial institutions. Um, and the likes of insurance companies, uh, pension funds, and so on. The main motivation there is that if they are able to break into systems in these companies, this is not going to slow down, it's going to increase. What is important is that the public should be educated so that they'll be able to understand or know when they are exposed to some form of cyber crime and be able to counter it very quickly. We hear some of the chapter leaders talk about the input we've made into the Cybersecurity Initiative uh, under the National Information Technology Authority, NITA. Um, similar initiative led by the Bank of Ghana has had Isaka chapter inf influence on them. So it, it's really great to hear, but more importantly, it's also great to hear from, from the people on the ground the things that we need to do to advance Isaka and to advance our profession here. The challenge that I see here is that most of the government institutions and some corporate institutions doesn't have or uh, doesn't uh, don't have um, systems and applications in place to support their business we have that they will value cyber security professionals it security professional because they, they they have a need for it and because they don't have that in place they don't see the value because Cyber security is to protect data, and data is an asset of a company. So if they don't have systems and applications in place that store, process, transmit this kind of assets, then they will not value professionals, cyber security professionals.